What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. And I'm just going to get these two pieces out of the way early. Number one, Chantal admits in this stream that Salah has a family. It's very odd that she would talk about herself in third person. She also admits that she's looked into getting Sam moved from Canada over to Kuwait and loosely asks for $5,000 to accommodate this. Now, we also learn while Salah was missing last night because, well, he would have known she was coming back today. She obviously was messaging him about picking her up. He was out trying to enjoy his last night of freedom. And I'm sure a lot of that anxiety she was talking about, that tension, that fear was, if he wasn't responding, she was likely wondering, who's going to pick me up at the airport? Now, she also claimed someone stole her food during the flight. And we're going to get into that in just a moment. But just to go back to the whole bringing Sam to Kuwait and I need this money, this cat, in terms of Julia, should have been fixed. Sala was with her the entire time. Chantal is now back. There is no reason that this animal is not properly cared for. Chantal, you can sit here and scream, you love mom, mama juice, juice. You can say all these things, but you need to show us you love this cat and put its health first. And of course, her first complaint is the travel. How she's not going to be able to stay online long. She's still very sick. She puts on makeup to do nothing. This is really the same thing she was doing in Thailand. And she says everything around her is a mess because she was just unpacking, but she wants to show off the Timu. Before that, though, she has to reiterate how her whole trip was ruined by this mystery illness, how she still can't relax, she still can't sleep. And if it wasn't for Sala encouraging her on the flight back, she's not sure how she would have made it. She talks about how a person was eating right in her ear, very annoying the whole flight back. She talks about another traveler who was, quote, thin and girlfriend-like. She says this gentleman was cold and needed all the blankets. And, you know, for someone who comes online and uses their illness as a reason they do so little, she never has sympathy for anyone else that might be suffering. You know, this gentleman could have been sick. He could have had an illness. We don't know. What we do know, though, is he's not sitting on YouTube talking about this Muslim woman that was declining food the whole time. That's what Chantal said she was doing, and that's why she feels he ate her meal, because she was declining it. And when she woke up, realized he had more than one meal. She also says on her way back, a child kept standing up, leaning over the seat to turn around and look at her. The person beside her kept leaning forward to look out the window. And then she says that this gentleman also put trash on, quote, her tray. But then when defining the story, we learn that this was not her tray. This was the middle tray. Chantal was using it to hold her juice. And this gentleman elected to also use it to set trash. And this is one of Chantal's biggest issues. She will have something in her vicinity that technically does not belong to her. This is not her possession. She will use it, and then anyone else that does the same thing, she believes is encroaching on her, even though this wasn't her space technically to begin with. She also claims Julia has ruined the gaming chair while she's gone, but fear not, she is going to replace it. The gym is not finished. She complains again about being out of shape, and anime immediately says to her in the chat that, she doesn't need to change anything. She's perfect just the way she is. And anime gets called out for trolling, for flirting. And Chantal laughs all this off, saying no one would flirt with her. Everyone knows that she's married. And speaking of being married, the chat also wants to know where is Salah. I mean, they missed each other so much. They were gone for a whole month. And Chantal says, despite the fact that he's seen nowhere, heard nowhere, he's busy. And that she also recorded her trip back. Her sciatica comes and goes, though. So she's not sure how good the video is going to be. The Timu Hall is then finally shown off. She starts with the fake nose ring. She shows off this t-shirt, but is worried that it won't fit. She says this was supposed to go with the elephant pants. And despite constant urging from the chat, she said she can't try anything on today. She's simply too tired, but she'll do a former haul video later on. She can't even keep the nose ring in. I believe she loses it before the end of the stream. And she said she really wanted these oversized glasses. And this new phone case. Uh, of course, more hair ties for the hair that we never get to see. She also shows off this new shirt, which she said she will likely return, knowing that it won't fit. The chat urges her, just stand up, try on a single shirt. She refuses to get out of the chair. 
She shows off another dress that Shaq tells her she should have gotten more like this when she was in Thailand, saying none of the stuff that she bought from Timu looks breathable. She struggles to read the labels and describe what these clothes are made out of. She then pulls out another piece, which is clearly too small, and then ends the haul with this Siamese cat shirt that seemingly everyone hates. Chantel says they have to understand she's modest now, so they might not get her sense of fashion. And it amazes everyone in the chat that she talked about this for so long, weeks on end, and ended up getting so little. She says the hotel deposit was returned to her. She used that for the taxi to return, which uh, I would clearly say is rule number one. And in case you're wondering, she also saved that bath bomb that she bought for when Sala arrived, and they're going to use it later on. You know, right now, though, she can't eat anything. Her anxiety has her going to the bathroom all the time, which I'm sure Sala also loves that bath bomb as well, if you know what I mean. And she says, you know, part of her Thailand trip was, quote, self-destruction mode, when now she needs to understand just it's going to be about eating healthy and snapping into this health arc. She says right now, though, she's tired. She wants to complain about how hard it was to travel and how much she missed her pets and specifically how much they missed her smell. After an hour, roughly, she lays down on the sofa. Then she starts what must be, at least for me, the most irritating part of Chantal. She lays there talking about Potato Corner, 7-Eleven, acting as if she couldn't imagine eating these foods, almost pretending that she's disgusted or repulsed by them, saying that, you know, the 7-Eleven quote isn't real food and how she's going to do a whole lot better now. Chantal, you had just about a month. You overindulged. You took gummies. You cried about being homesick. And all of that was your excuse for why you were eating and acting the way that you were. Now you want to pretend that that wasn't really you. Now you want to sit there and say, oh, well, the plans didn't work but I learned a lot about myself. She also claims that she learned about the gummies and how they created a lot of issues for her. And she acts like going to this foreign country alone was some landmark achievement. She says that, you know, she's more ill now than she was before. And this time it was really reflecting on her that she needs to get in better health before she can travel again. And she says, as far as the gummies are concerned, they taught her this time, the gummies, they taught her why they're haram, and while she won't do them anymore. But we also all need to understand she's addicted to them. So she goes places that they're legal, even after not using them for months on end, she might not have the willpower to say no. Because right now, what we all need to understand is Chantal is focused on small accomplishments. She needs to take this little break. They're going to get a GoPro. They're going to vlog. They're just going to do all these things back in Kuwait. Chantal... When you say that you're Muslim now, I believe you've been attempting to be Muslim for two years now. We just saw you lay in bed, talk about not being able to move, talk about having to stay covered, all these mental issues, and you can't draw any correlation to not having a true connection to your faith or discipline. It, it doesn't make sense to me. All the strength that you're saying that you desperately need and want should be rooted in the religion you're coming online to portray. She, of course, then goes on about how they're going to stay in Kuwait. They're going to get the health art going. She said, you know, she just wants to do something realistic to start with, not something like lose weight, because right now everything feels like a chore, even showering. And she admits she didn't get Salah anything during the trip. And, you know, right now her focus is sealing, laying with them, sleeping for up to 15 hours. She goes on and on about the animals, how this couldn't have been a visa run, how Salad, he doesn't know how to take care of the animals. She has that special touch. She also continually talks about maybe unblocking people, open chats. The chat, though, wants to see the gym. She refuses to show anything until it's done. She also refuses to cook anything. And she tells them over and over that she just wants to go to sleep. She says Salah is just really busy and that right now they're going to keep their relationship offline despite just talking about doing vlogs together and getting a GoPro. She also says that he is kind of the one that wants the relationship offline. And they ask her, what on earth is he so busy with? Because it's odd that he's not around her after all this lost time. And that is when she says, quote, he has a family. He has a business. He has friends. He has a life. But Chantal, 
would his family not be you and the pets? Because that's what you define as your family. So it's odd that you would say that he has a family as if it's this third party in yourself. She then goes on to talk about how, you know, she feels, quote, good and, quote, relaxed after coming back and going through prayer. Oddly enough, as I just mentioned, these are all things she missed doing in Thailand while indulging in everything else. She then tries to lay this framework for rules with moderators, which is going to apparently include no blocking. She said she might even get rid of moderators. She goes on to say that she realizes that this is costing her viewers, people get blocked, and then they end up going to reaction channels, and she doesn't know how to address it. And she says maybe she's just going to let everyone talk. She's not going to check messages. She's not going to look at reaction channels. How many years have we heard this? And the chat just continues to press her about Salah. And she says, you know, it's normal for them to have, quote, space. They were just apart for a full month. And that is when she says... Oh, I also looked into getting Sam here. So something else to keep her company now that Sala clearly isn't. And that's where the $5,000 comes in. Now, I will give the chat credit. As soon as she gives that money amount, they say, hey, you could use this for so many positive things in your life. You know, WLS, more gym equipment. And she says again, she could get WLS if she wanted. She just doesn't want to get it. And right now, she just has to focus on small things. So she's going to start with three meals a day. She's not worried about counting calories. She's not worried about calories at all. She says right now, the biggest thing she has to do is go rest for 15 hours because she has to prepare for this health arc. But she also has to use the bathroom really badly. So with that bat signal out to Sala, she says she has to log off right away and says that she will go forward, maybe even consider an open chat if that would help encourage people to come back. I would love to know your thoughts on all of this. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. And you know, just like Chantal on a fake health arc, I will be back as soon as I can with more commentary.